guys. So if I look like I'm in a different place or the lighting's off or there's an echo or something weird is going on with this video, I'm sorry, but it's because I moved. Surprise. I moved yet again and this time I actually moved into my mom's house, which I was not expecting to do, but I also wasn't expecting to be pregnant. So there's a lot of things we're not expecting that are happening. Basically, I was gonna move in the month before I'm giving birth, which is in July. So I'm giving birth in August and I was gonna move in July to my mom's house because I just feel like having her here is gonna bring me a lot of comfort and being very close to her in this time is gonna bring me a lot of comfort. So we were gonna move in July, but then we said, you know what, I think I'm gonna be a little bit too pregnant in July and then we just moved now. So that's where I am right now. I'm in my mom's house. I'm actually in the corner where Noah's crib is going to be. A lot of people have been asking for like a nursery tour. There's not going to be a nursery because we're just going to have his crib in our room, which is fine because for the first, I don't know how many months, they don't even need a nursery. So we're going to have his changing table and his crib and everything in our room because it's big enough to fit it. But yeah, so I'm here and I moved and that's why I look like I'm in a different place because I am. And that's also why I haven't posted a video in a little bit over a week. So I'm very sorry about that, but I was moving and that's why I didn't post. Okay, I th I'm pretty sure you get the picture. Anyway, let's just get started. I had another video that I filmed with Nassim, which will be going up on Tuesday. But I was like, you know what? If I don't film a pregnancy update now, I'm just never gonna film it. I thought that pregnancy was going by so slow, but when you're going by weeks, it just moves so quick. Like I'm 26 weeks pregnant. Like I only have three months left. Someone on Twitter thought I was giving birth next month. Mm. I hope not. Anyway, I'm just gonna start this video off by updating you guys on some new symptoms that I feel, some new things that I'm experiencing in pregnancy, and then I'm gonna move on to some questions that you guys ask me on Twitter, because I wanna make sure that I'm answering things that you guys actually genuinely care about when it comes to my pregnancy. Also, follow me on Instagram, because I sometimes do Instagram lives or post random pictures of my pregnancy, so like, if you really wanna keep up with my pregnancy, you can follow me on Instagram, check out my stories and shit like that. I'll leave the link down below. But anyway, okay, new symptoms. I have been more out of breath lately that is for sure but I also think it's circumstantial I don't think that I'm out of breath all the time I think it's like maybe when he's in a certain position but my out of breathness that is not a word has definitely gotten more intense like really scary like oh my god I'm choking and I'm gonna die but then I don't die so I guess it's fine another weird thing that's happening and I don't even know if it's a symptom of pregnancy honestly at this point I just chalk everything up to being a pregnancy symptom because everything's just so weird but I have been waking up in the middle of the night and I wake up feeling like I'm gonna projectile vomit aren't you glad you know that information you're welcome. Seriously, I just wake up feeling so nauseous and I wake up feeling like I'm gonna vomit and then I just don't. And I don't know if it's because I'm like hungry or what's going on, but it's just been happening for the past like three or four nights and it's very annoying. I also have to eat before I go to bed. And I'm talking like I have to eat right before I go to sleep. Cause if I don't have a snack or something right before I go to bed, I will wake up starving and I cannot sleep unless I eat more food. So that's been something that's been fun. I know it's not good to eat right before before you go to bed, but I don't have a choice, okay? Bad things happen when you don't feed me. Another thing is Noah's just getting so much bigger. Like my belly's getting bigger, but not just that, like he's getting stronger. He is kicking so much. And honestly, it's an amazing thing because it's really the only way that you can know that your baby's healthy and strong. Other than that, you don't have anything but your doctor's visits once a month where they check the heartbeat and tell you like, oh, your baby's fine. So I'm actually really happy about the kicks because they let me know that he's healthy. But man, they are intense. And it's starting to look like a little aliens inside of me. And it's honestly my favorite part about pregnancy. At first, I was honestly just weirded out by the feeling because it feels like you ate a little human and it's inside of you trying to escape. But to be honest, it's, it's going to be the only part of pregnancy I miss, I think. So he's been kicking very strong lately and very often. He also responds like directly, like if one hand is here, he kicks that hand. And he's also like stretching his big toe all the way to my side and I have to kind of like push him like away from here, like please don't do that. Cause it feels like my whole side is just gonna split open like, you know, it's been fun. Another symptom that's been happening, and it's been for like two or three days, is, oh my god, I am so emotional. I mean, I'm talking, I am, whew, borderline out of control. I can't tell if I'm emotional because I'm pregnant or if I would have been emotional anyway because life has been a little bit stressful lately and I'm trying not to let the stress get to me because I don't want to stress out the baby and I don't want anything to happen to him. Like I just picture his amniotic fluid tasting like shit every time I'm stressed out. But life has been stressful lately, you know, I've had to move and moving when you're pregnant is just, let me tell you, not a good idea. And there's things going on with my family that, you know, I can't control. You just like have to go through and it's heartbreaking stuff and life is just just like, 
<laughs> a little bit stressful. So it's been really tough because I am very, very emotional. And the thing is when you're pregnant, I feel like even if you're a little bit sad, it just like ruins you. Your hormones are all over the place, but not only that, like me, when I'm sad, I just want to sleep all day. And when you're pregnant, that's like what you want to do anyway. So instead of fighting that and actually getting up and doing stuff, like my emotions have just made me want to lay in bed all day. And that's what I've been doing. All right, let's get on to some of the questions that you guys asked me on Twitter. How many cup sizes have you grown since being pregnant? I don't know. They're just painful. Honestly, I'm wearing the same bras that I used to wear. It's just they're extremely tight and they crush my ribs and I feel like I'm dying. What is being pregnant like? Is it all it's cracked up to be? What is it cracked up to be exactly? I've said it before and I'll say it again, okay? Pregnancy is not glamorous. I feel very lucky and I don't want to ever come across like I don't feel lucky that my body's able to do this because I see so many women struggling with infertility and, and I know I feel lucky. I am grateful. But that being said, pregnancy is not a beautiful thing all the time. It's almost actually never a beautiful thing. My favorite part of pregnancy, like I said, is being able to feel the baby kick inside of me. Just feel him actually there. But other than that, pregnancy is very, very difficult and it almost just feels like... I don't know, like torture? <laughs> it messes with your brain. It messes with everything you've ever known. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's, it's insane. Your body changes in ways you never thought it would and so does your mind. And that's like really the only way I can explain it. And I know that wasn't that good. So I'm sorry. What's your biggest craving? Oh my God, Chipotle. I could eat Chipotle three times a day. The diarrhea would be out of this world, but I could do it. It's insane, it's the only craving I haven't gotten tired of. Everything else I'll crave for a day, maybe a week at most. But this Chipotle craving is so real, it has lasted for over a month now. And I haven't eaten it every day just because my husband has to cut me off because he knows my stomach gets real fucked up. Even though what I'm eating from there is vegan, let me tell you, those salsas, those salsas will get you on the way out. What would you say the best and worst thing about pregnancy is so far? Like I said, best part easily is the kicking of the baby, feeling them, feel like I've said that 80 times in this video now but the worst part okay if you're trying to get TMI with it I can really give you the worst part the worst part for me is all the changes down there things are different and things are uncomfortable <laughs> it's strange it is uh, sometimes painful just to just to be in my body just my should I just move on from this question? Are you scared slash nervous for labor? I get this question a lot and honestly, I'm not scared, which is weird. I'm just the type of person, like if I know I'm gonna go through something and I have time to mentally prepare myself for it, like if I know I'm gonna go through pain for like a surgery or something like that, I mentally prepare myself and then I just go through it. Like I just don't even think about it and I just let myself go through whatever I have to go through. It's like people can be nervous all they want, but at the end of the day, that's what we're made for as humans as human women. That's literally what our bodies are designed to do. So whether you think you're gonna be scared or you're not, when that moment comes, your brain's gonna be in it to win it and you're not even gonna have a second to think. You're just gonna be like, holy shit, get this thing out of me. So no, I'm not scared, but I'm also getting an epidural. So I don't wanna sound like I'm super like strong woman over here. Like I'm getting an epidural like ASAP Rocky. Do you think the baby will look more like you, Nassim, or 50-50? I definitely think the baby's gonna look like Nassim. We did get like a frontal face scan. Like if the baby was laying this way, looking at the camera. I'm gonna post a picture here now, but I need to like explain to you in which direction he's laying because otherwise everyone gets super confused with sonograms. And that's basically the little outline of his face. And the reason why I'm even showing you this, cause I hate showing sonograms. People are like, what is this? I don't even see anything. But basically there you can see like the nose has like a little bump, like a little bump in the middle. And mine doesn't have that. From the front, it looks exactly like Nassim's. And he also has huge lips like Nassim, which are gonna be so juicy and I'm gonna kiss them. So yeah, that was a very, very long winded thing, but I think he's gonna look like Nassim. After Noah, are you planning on having any more? A lot of people ask this question and I know it's just genuine curiosity, but oh my God, it stresses me out. I don't know the answer to that, if I'm being honest, guys. I mean, we just, we don't know. We're gonna raise Noah and I think that if we did wanna have another kid, we wouldn't do it till Noah was like at least five years old. I know people don't want a huge age gap with their kids, but like we need some time and we wanna spend that time with Noah too and just enjoy him. At this point, we're happy with one, but who knows? I don't want to say we're never going to have kids because we don't know. We don't know what it's like to be parents yet. So we'll make that decision when we get there. But as of right now, no, there's no in-depth plan of having, having another baby. Anyway, those are just some of the questions that I got on Twitter. So if you guys want to be a part of the next pregnancy update or anything like that, follow me on Twitter so you can be there when I tell you guys next that I need you to ask questions.
All right. Also, a lot of people keep asking me, and I have mentioned many times before, but I do have a P.O. box. If you ever want it, it's on my Instagram bio. It's down below in every video. Every video that I've uploaded in the past, like, two months. But yeah, if you want it, it's down below. Don't feel obligated to send anything. I've just actually been getting, like, a lot of questions about my P.O. box, and I've mentioned it, but I know some people don't see those videos, so here you go. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was entertaining. I hope the quality doesn't look like shit in my new location. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I put on new videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!